So today I will be showing how do we post a debit or credit note for AP invoice. So basically I will uh, I will pick one uh, invoice which is already posted and I will show how do we post a debit or credit note and then we will link this to the originally posted invoice and also I will show how to link TDS for your debit or credit note. So uh, let's just get started. So I'll just go to system, I'll go to my, I'll just pick one invoice which is already posted because you all guys already know how to post an invoice. So I'll, I'll just pick one invoice that's already posted and then I'll show how to post a debit or credit note uh, for the same and link in the TDS. Um, so I'll just pick one invoice, okay, let me just pick this. So you can see you. Uh, my vendor is AXA Insurance, the invoice number is M123 and uh, the amount is uh, 10,000. Uh, does that have any TDS? Yes, it has a TDS, TDS of professional uh, which is 2% and 200. So yeah, then there's a perfect example to be picked. So I'll take this uh, invoice as an example and I'll show how to post now a credit note and link that to this particular invoice. So let me go to another screen go to your uh, journal journals it's all here so to post a debit or credit note we go to uh, journal journals click on new select your journal name go to lines uh, yeah so once you select your date uh, account type window since i'm posting for ap module uh, select the same window for which you're posting a debit or credit note that's my axa insurance you can give description now i'm posting a credit note and uh, so i'm entering the amount on debit side if you want to post a debit note then you are enter the amount on your credit side so let me take a uh, thousand rupees as an example so thousand rupees on your debit side uh, offset account generally you need to select the same offset account that was selected during your invoice time and i think this was the account that i had selected for invoice Click save. So here I just recorded an entry. So far it is just a, a GL entry. Now once we link this, this automatically converts to your uh, credit note. So how do we link? And once we link, the system will automatically consider this as your credit note. So once you go to your invoice journal, this is your invoice journal. You have something called as tax document. Click on tax document. Now, uh, this is with respect to whether you have your tax or not, uh, you still uh, get these details updated. Uh, if, it has, if it has tax, uh, it will automatically take care of the tax. And if there is no tax, then you don't need to worry. But irrespective, you, you still need to come to your tax document. And once you come to it, you can see something called as your transaction ID. So you select your transaction ID. You go to your journal entry where you are posting your credit note. Go to tax document. In tax document, you can see your tax document. Your transaction type will be original and the original transaction ID, the ID that you copied. Just paste your amount to save. You can see here once you paste your original transaction ID, the original transaction date is automatically picked. You can see you. This is your original transaction date and the system automatically picks the date. Now once by doing this, you're linking this journal entry with your invoice. And if it has a tax, the system automatically considers the tax. So you don't need to do you know any further step for tax. So this is how uh, you know you link your credit note to uh, your uh, invoice. Now, uh, so far, what we have done is linked it and your tax part is taken care. Now comes your TDS. So this is where it's a bit tricky. You have to do further steps to link your uh, TDS to your original uh, invoice. Before that, I'll just open my Excel sheet and I'll explain you a simple calculations uh, just to understand where uh, or how much TDS and what is the entry that should be uh, posted. Let's say in our invoice case uh, yeah uh, so i'm just saying my invoice here 10000 so uh, in the excel like my base amount initially posted is 10000 my tds 
which is 2% two was 200. Use 200 and my vendor payment I made a payment of 9800 right now let's say I want to reduce this amount by thousand okay I want to post a credit note of thousand now if that is the case my actual base amount would be 9000 for which 2% uh, of TS 9000 into 2% so the TDA should actually be 180 and my vendor payment <coughs> will be 9000 minus 180 right if if I have uh, you know if I want to reduce the thousand rupees my credit note this should have been the actual amount now when you say vendor payment I have made a payment of 9800 and my TDS initially what I have made is 200 now when you see if I'm reducing it by thousand my vendor payment will be should be reduced see I've actually made a 9800 payment where I was supposed to be only double eight two zero so the difference amount is 980 now I'm supposed to receive 980 from my window and as far as TD is concerned I have made 200 payment where I was supposed to make a payment of 180 the difference is 20 so I'm supposed to reduce 20 rupees from the TDS and receive 980 from my vendor. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I hope this, uh, you know, calculation is very clear. It's very simple. This, you know, the base amount 10,000 initially, where it, um, if I'm reducing 1,000, it will become 9,000. My TDS should have been 180 and my payment should have been 880, whereas I have paid 9,800. So now, whatever is the difference is what I am reducing. So for vendor, I will be reducing 980 and for TDS, I will be reducing 20. So let's see how we can, you know, achieve this in the system. So let me just continue with my interview. So for, uh, so I have, uh, you know, I am reducing 1000 rupees and I have already linked this with my original invoice. Now to link your TDS, go to functions you have an option here called as create withholding tax journal so click on create withholding tax journal once you click on you will get few informations to be filled so tax type uh, tds i'm reducing tds tax group uh, i guess i had deducted a uh, professional so you have to select the same tax group and uh, my uh, vendor is payable and not recoverable so you have to select payable and I'm posting for vendor so the vendor I'm posting is AXA insurance so once you select the vendor you have an option of linking this particular voucher because this is your original voucher right invoice voucher so you have to link that with your uh, tax document that is how this goes and sits to that particular vendor so you can see here select transactions click on select transaction you can see the invoice so basically i'm posting a credit note here to this particular invoice so select that invoice click on the ellipsis here and select reference to tax journal once you click on that you can see here the voucher number is automatically picked you can just compare that so your voucher your invoice voucher is this and now you link that to your uh, tds document now amount uh, I am reducing thousand, right? And here you have to remember one thing: I am reducing this amount, so my TDS should come down. So you have to enter the amount in negative. So once you select this, click on calculate tax. So you can see a uh, tax component is professional. Your account is your payable account. That's your TDS payable account, and it is getting reduced by twenty rupees. So now you click on transfer. So once you click on transfer, you can see the second entry. This is nothing but your TDS entry. There will be two entry posted here, but both will be linked to your original invoice. So let's just post and see the effect. Okay, so yeah, uh, now a credit notice uh, posted in the system just to see the effect uh, let me just take you to vouchers and then i'll show the effects 
click on the voucher so here you can see thousand rupees my expense is reduced by thousand and therefore my uh, you know the vendor is been uh, debited by thousand rupees that is supposed to pay me this amount and I have basically done a TDS on that as well so if you click on voucher you can see my TDS payable uh, is 20 and my vendor it is reducing by 20 so just to explain you uh, if you okay before that let me just show the calculations so this is the effect that needs to take place that is my vendor is supposed to pay me back 980 and I have to reduce TDS of 20 rupees so let's see if that has taken place now you can see here, TDS payable initially my TDS payable is minus 200 and in my credit note it is plus 20 right so the effect will basically 180 you can see right minus 200 plus 20 is 180 so it is reducing by 20 rupees so that is your TDA should reduce by 20 so this is achieved the second thing my vendor now this should be 980 my vendor is supposed to be debited by 980 now when you go here you can see your vendor is credit minus 20 and your in this entry your vendor is debit plus thousand right so plus thousand minus 20 is 980 now when you see your your vendor is basically debited by 980 so basically your vendor should be uh, debited by 980 and even that is achieved and if you want to you know see this in the transaction let me quickly show that as well uh, in your vendor transaction you can see uh, your debit of 1000 and then again credit of 20 basically the effect will be 980 just to show that quickly let me just go to your accounts payable all vendors AXA insurance click on transactions once you click on transaction you can see here M123 I have selected uh, initial entry that is posted and you can see your, your m123 right thousand rupees is debited and credit of minus 20 so the actual effect will become 980 and if you see the calculation it is to be 980 so this is how we post a debit or credit note in the system if you enter the amount on the debit side it will be your credit note and if you enter the amount on the credit side that will be your debit note so this that this is it for today's video Thank you.